Guys, what's going on? Chad here with you. Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. Today, let's talk about something cool. We're going to talk about the TBS Source 2. So this was a pleasant surprise in last month's drone drop box. It was a Mr. Steel inspired box. So we got some pretty cool stuff in there. We got some of the watermelon S3 props. We got some pretty cool stickers. If I had them around, I'd show you and a few other ethics branded things but we also got a tbs source 2 frame now the tbs source 2 is building on the popularity of the whole open source beat the cloner type of frames that uh, tbs has been working on with the source one which i really love i actually have just finished building my second one uh, so i had a lot of parts laying around from the drone drop boxes uh, so for one of the C's and stuff like that and I decided to uh, pick up a few motors and just kind of put a thing together so I'm not much of a racer but I just kind of want a quad to play around with and you know this was a very inexpensive way to get into a racing type of setup or just something to bash around here during the winter time so let's take a look at it over here on the bench so here it is this is the tbs source 2 frame nothing super special about it except for the fact that it costs around 21 dollars and it's got some really skinny arms they are all removable real easy uh they don't go into the flight stack or nothing like that so basically two screws and you can replace an arm on there uh let's see here it's got uh, a bottom plate here and then these two like boomerang type pieces that kind of go around there and uh, finish up uh, the build there so it's real thick and meaty right there where you might want it battery strap going underneath here uh, high pretty high for a standoff I know some people maybe like uh, shorter stacks but this is about as good as you can get I think so we got the four and one I got a pyro flip f4 uh, inverted right there and then I have my Crossfire Nano and a Unify Race right there, just kind of stuck to the top plate. Crossfire Antennas out on an L here, which I run all the time, don't have any problems. And just a dipole antenna. And then of course, we've got the S3 props. And I did go with something different. I wanted to try out some of these uh, 6S uh, Sam Cooke motors. So I'm actually only running 5S batteries. Uh, these are the 1750 uh, variety and man for 10 bucks what can i say they are pretty nice we'll see how long they hold up but like i said before this is just you know a uh, beater quad so i've got a cadex camera in there um, one thing about the source 2 is it comes with kind of these weird injection molded rubber uh, camera uh, mounts that I really didn't like I got tons of jello and it was really hard to get a, a nice uh, grip and bite on everything so I did print out some uh, files off of Thingiverse for um, a camera mount and I have no problem with it at all now as far as building goes um, routing your wires is kind of weird um, depending upon how you want to route them to get them onto the 4-in-1 ESC. You know, a lot of us like to hide them and come up from the underneath. And you can see that since you got these bolts right here and you kind of got like the post right there that you kind of have to make a decision if you're gonna go on the, like the inside all the way back through, which I suppose you could and not really interfere with your camera. Or if you just go on the outside like I did. Now back here and behind, of course, I just went everything right there into the middle. Uh, I've got a couple of the tiny uh, sleds on there as well that came in the drone drop box. Comes with a nice silicone battery pad underneath there. Um, no stack hardware or nothing like that. Just everything you need to complete the frame. So this all together here weighs about 296 grams, 295. Uh, running a 1255s battery it jumps up to about 474 grams so i'm not sure how that is for a, ra a racing frame or whatever but you know i'm pretty happy with the way everything flies it's got great response with these motors and a light quad it's just super fun to fly around i can kind of putz around with this thing and get anywhere from seven to nine minutes or i can really hammer it home and 
get about three to five minutes. It's really up to how you feel like flying. Uh, got Betaflight 4.0 on here, the latest development build. So I've been kind of messing around with tuning that a little bit and playing with some filters. But uh, yeah, let's uh, just take a look at some flight footage here and we'll talk that over. So here's a look at some flight footage from yesterday. This was the maiden flight. This is kind of like one of my uh, last uh, tuning flights and just kind of flying around through the day, showing off just kind of the build and how everything looks and flies with that Cadex camera and the S3 props. You know, the great thing about these light racing frames without GoPros is they're just super responsive. They just kind of go wherever you want them to go. It's really fun be great if we could just have HD video and an FPV cam one of these days that just looks just like a GoPro man if we could only dream but yeah you can see you know nothing special besides like the price and the actual build flies great don't have any complaints at all will I build another one yeah probably not but while I'm able to pick up one at a discount on the drone drop subscriber store I will probably go ahead and pick one up just so that way if I break a couple arms or something like that that I have easy access to go ahead and just fix something if I need to but yeah pretty good frame real fun something different just to play around with not going to get heavily involved in this at all would have never even considered building it if I didn't have pretty much everything I needed so just had to spend a little bit of money and thanks to the Christmas sales and all the free shipping and all that good stuff I was able to put this together for a really good price so gonna just go ahead and leave you with the flight footage if you want to take a look at it be back with the next video soon guys thanks a lot we'll see you later